Good afternoon. Today I need to boil up a bunch of eggs, hard boiled. And I have, by the time I gather eggs today, I'll have over two dozen eggs. So I wanted to show you how I boil and easily peel farm fresh eggs. There's a lot of uh, different ways that works for everybody else, but this works the best for me. I've tried the, the baking soda and the salt and, and all different um, ways of doing it, but I have found this is what works best for me. Now, some of you have noticed that I keep my eggs on the countertop, and yes, I keep them at room temperature because I do not wash my eggs. Now, if they're particularly messy, which is pretty rare, um, I go ahead and wash them and keep them in refrigerator. They have a natural bloom on them that protects the egg from bacteria. I will wash these just before I put them in the water to make sure because there's a couple tiny little coop spots and of course I want to get any bacteria off the outside of the egg before I put them in the water. So. Um, the United States is one of only two countries in the world that we pre-wash our eggs. And the research that I've done says that they wash them twice in bleach water. We get enough bleach in our diet as it is. I don't want it on my eggs too. So um, I'm gonna wash these up and then I'll tell you what I do when I hard boil my farm fresh eggs. I decided to do one and a half dozen eggs. Um, Buell Farmer likes just plain hard boiled eggs. Uh, I don't particularly care for them. <laughs> I think it goes back to my childhood, you know, when you're Easter egg hunting, you see that beautiful egg and you open it up, take a bite, you think you're getting candy. No, you get a boiled egg. <laughs> so, I don't know, I never have cared for boiled eggs. Um, I'm also going to make probably a small batch of egg salad um, for sandwiches, and then I'll make deviled eggs. Who doesn't like deviled eggs? The thing that I do is I get a pot of, of water boiling. I want it to come to a, a good boil, and I put the eggs directly in the boiling water. So I'm gonna let this water come to a boil. I'll move you down, and you can see what I do from there. Okay, as you can see, my water is boiling. And now I'm gonna take the eggs and just place them directly in the boiling water. And yes, occasionally one will crack when it goes in, but all my eggs, remember, are at room temperature. So I don't seem to have um, too much of a problem. Usually it's an egg that might have had already had a micro crack, crack in it. Look at the size of some of these eggs. These are my regular laying hens, and these are California whites. It's amazing. And I consider my hens to lay, um, oh, sometimes they're medium, but usually large eggs, but these California whites lay huge eggs. They're great um, layers. So, like I said, um, these are all fresh eggs. There might be one or two. I just had one crack. There might be one or two that um, are over a week old, but all of them are just a matter of a few days. So I'm gonna get all these eggs in here. I'm going to bring it back to a boil. And typically for a hard boiled egg, you would boil for about 10 minutes. Well, I've learned because of the size of these California whites and the um, some of them are double yolkers, I go longer than 10 minutes because I want the entire egg cooked. I want it cooked completely through. So once it comes back to a boil, I'll set my timer and just to be safe, I'm going to go closer to 12 to 15 minutes. I'll come back when they're done boiling. No, no, no. 
Okay, my um, timer just went off. I think I had it for 13 minutes. I just now shut the heat off. I have a large bowl of ice water right here. And I take my eggs directly from the boiling water and put them in the ice. And I keep this water ice cold until the eggs are completely cool. Here's my egg that cracked. So I, what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna keep these eggs in here. As the, the ice melts, I'll just keep adding more ice because I want these to cool down quickly and get cold. And I have a couple other eggs that have small little cracks in them. Not a problem at all. Um, like I said, I washed my eggs before I put them in here. And of course they boiled for over 10 minutes. So if you're concerned about any germs or bacteria, there's nothing to worry about. I'll probably go ahead and take this one with the great big crack, take it out right away and Imagine the old farmer will eat it. He likes them that well. So um, I'll come back when these have cooled down. I will continue to add ice to make sure that they get good and cold. And I'll probably even go in every little bit, gently stir the eggs around to make sure that the cold water gets down into them. And when they're good and cold from the ice water, We'll come back and I'll show you how I'm able to peel them. Okay, my eggs now are cold. And honestly, guys, I'm not sure how long they've sat in this ice water. I have added more ice. Like I said, I want them cold and I want them to come down quick. I have a bowl here that I'm gonna put my peeled eggs in and another bowl for my eggshells. Now, all of you that have been with me know that I have a pretty good sized compost pile and this all goes in there. So let's just reach in and get an egg. Now, normally I don't do this sitting at the table. I do it standing at the sink because then I can rinse my eggs. But I'm gonna show you one or two eggs, how easy they are to peel. And we might even just move over to the sink. So I just pop it on the table. And it literally just peels right off. I should have rolled it and got a bigger crack, but. I have been battling how to hard boiled eggs without ripping half of the egg white off and making such a mess. And this works the best for me. And there you have it, a perfectly peeled egg. Let's get another one. I'm gonna get, roll it a bit. That way I can get more egg off at a time. Sometimes I actually get lucky and half of it comes off. I have been so happy since I figured out that this, how this works. Once I get them all peeled, they will go back into, um, I'm gonna rinse them all off good, you know, any pieces of shell that might be on them. Let's find one of these big eggs. This one did crack a little. I don't think I'm even gonna have to crack it on the table. Nope. Just literally fell off in my hand. Look at that nice big egg. Guys, this is how I do it. I This works for me. These are farm fresh eggs. Um, that seems to be what most people have trouble with is getting their farm fresh eggs to uh, boil and peel easily. Um, since I figured out how to do this, I've been doing this for several years. I've not had the problems that I used to have. 
and um, it just literally is just falling off so quickly. Matter of fact, I never used to make deviled eggs because I could never have a, a nice egg. Let's get another one of these big ones. I don't know if we'll get any double yogurts. One thing I've noticed about the California whites is their shell doesn't, I don't know, it doesn't seem to be quite as thick as all my other breeds. Okay, beautiful egg. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and get these all done. You don't need to sit and watch me do the thing, same thing over and over again. Oh, and by the way, that cast iron skillet back there, that's my bacon bits that I'm gonna use for my deviled eggs. I had a pound of bacon. Uh, we buy our bacon um, in three pound packages from a fundraising group, and, which is too much for us. So I took uh, this one pound and I diced the bacon up and uh, have just stuck it in the oven in the cast iron skillet. Now it's on the stove top and I'm gonna brown it just a little bit and drain that bacon grease off and I'll show you how I make deviled eggs in another video. Okay guys, I'll be back when I get them all peeled. I've got the eggs all peeled. They all peeled beautifully with the exception of the um, California white eggs. Like I said, their shells are just different. They're not as quite as hard as my other um, laying hen shells are. Yes, they get plenty of grit. Um, I don't feed them oyster shells uh, because they get uh, they're free range for the most part, and um, they get sand and bits of grit out out all around the yard. Plus all my eggshells go in my compost pile and they, of course, they go right back over that compost pile and clean up everything they can find there between them and the dog and the wild turkeys and the cats. Everybody loves what I dump in compost. So I wanted to show you what happened with my California white eggs. Um, like I said, the shells were funky. Almost every one of those shells cracked and I only had four of them. So because they cracked and got so much water in them, they're perfectly fine. But, um, you know, they don't have that beautiful, smooth, uh, you know, how beautiful those look that these other eggs do. That's fine. These are gonna be made into chicken salad for sandwiches. And the others I'm gonna make into deviled eggs. So, I'll see y'all next time. Thanks for being here with me and have a good day.